Well, hey there, it's John here, and I'm back in the Eastman Discovery Lab at the Hands-On Discovery Center with another activity that you guys can do right at home. Today happens to be Paperclip Day. Yeah, even paper clips have their own day. And we have a couple of uh, activities that you can try using good old-fashioned paper clips. Now, uh, you will also need a magnet. And we've talked about magnets before, but magnets, they attract certain things, not wood or cotton. We've, we've already done that video. They attract metals, especially iron, nickel, and cobalt. And luckily, most paper clips happen to be made of magnetic metal. So if I was to take this bar magnet and dunk it into like this little dish of paper clips, obviously, whoosh, yep, they're going to be attracted to it pretty easily. However, <laughs> Kind of looks like this magnet just got a little hairdo. Uh, this is a permanent magnet, meaning you cannot just switch off the magnet. Off. Magnet. Off. Magnet. 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 Off. 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 Nope, it's going to stay there. But we can actually create a temporary magnet using, well, we don't need a magnet. Ha! We are going to use a, a copper wire. This one happens to be insulated. That's why it has this red coating on it. We're going to need a uh, set of wire trimmers. This actually has a wire stripper attachment at the bottom, so excellent. You could get around that just by using some regular old uh, regular scissors and a battery. Oh, 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 and, and you can use either a nail or a, a bolt. Make sure that it is magnetic, that it will actually uh, be attracted, stick to a magnet, because we need iron inside of this core. Luckily, this bolt is made out of an iron alloy. It's perfect. You're going to take your uh, wire, and we're first going to strip off the end here. We're, we're going to want to expose some of that copper wire. That's where your wire snips come in handy. You can also just use the regular scissors to carefully peel off that coating. But this, as I said, makes it super easy, super fast, done. Now we're going to take our wire Wire, leaving a little bit of a tail here because we're going to want those leads to actually attach to our battery and you're just going to start coiling it twisting it all back all around the bolt all the way down hundreds and hundreds and hundreds maybe not hundreds but many many times all the way to the end and maybe go back up again go until you run out of wire or until your arm gets tired I say then on the very end you're going to want to snip off the wire again Boop and again, expose the copper on the end because these are gonna be the two ends that we are going to attach to our battery. One side, we're gonna tape onto uh, maybe the positive side, and the other one we're gonna leave open. The circuit isn't quite complete yet because we're gonna to wanna to be able to turn it off and on again. Here, I've actually made one and I've uh, used some purple electrical tape just to kind of keep everything in place. As I said, we've taped one of our leads down. The other one is open. So this circuit is not complete. But when we do, ha, all of a sudden electricity is going to be flowing through this wire and in this coil fashion. The really cool thing about electricity is it is closely related to magnetism. Electricity and magnetism go so closely hand in hand that if you take a class in college called e &M, it's electricity and magnetism. They never teach just electricity in physics or magnetism. They always go together. And uh, because when there's a moving electrical charge through a wire, it's actually going to create a magnetic field around it. And in this coil pattern, there are so many of these coils that when you complete the circuit here by holding it down, this iron rod in the center, the bolt, becomes magnetized. Don't believe me? Ha! But unlike the bar magnet that was permanently magnetized, when we break the circuit and stop the flow of electricity, all of a sudden it loses that magnetic attraction and becomes just a boring old bolt with some wires around it again. And if you were to uh, try to pick the, the paper clips back up, it's not going to work. You have to complete the circuit, hold down that lead, and you will be able to pick up paper clips just like that bar magnet did. Release the lead and... Oh, so we've made a temporary magnet, or what we call an electromagnet, because it uses electricity to make magnetism. You guys can try this at home. Uh, maybe uh, uh, experiment with different types of wire. See if other types, other than copper wire, if they will work. Or maybe experiment, play around with the number of coils. Does it work better with more coils, or does it work better with less coils? Turn this demo into a science experiment at home. But hey guys, I hope you like this video, and be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video upload. Also check the description below, where we're gonna have all kinds of information and science standards listed that relate to magnetism. Also down there, there'll be some information on how you guys at home can help support us in keeping the science alive. But right now, I'm gonna go find some things to attach with paper clips. Bye guys!